Now let's see about file I/O operations or file I/O functions. File I/O operations are mainly useful in order to read or write contents of a file. I stands for input operation. Input operation is mainly useful in order to read data from the file. Whereas O stands for output function. Output functions are useful in order to write data into the file. Mainly there are two file I/O functions are available. First one is formatted file I/O functions. Second one is unformatted file I/O functions. Already we have in the previous video we have seen about uh, formatted file I/O functions. Uh, whereas the second one is unformatted file I/O functions. There are six unformatted file I/O functions are there. First one F get C, second one F put C. In the pre in the previous video we have seen about uh, F get C as well as uh, F put C function. Uh, in this video we are going to discuss about F gets and F puts function. Whereas in the next video we will discuss about get W and put W functions. Okay. So now let's see about F gets function. Uh, we know the advantage of gets function. Gets function is mainly useful in order to read a string or a line of text from the keyboard. Whereas F gets function is useful in order to uh, read a line of text or a string from a file so if you want to read a line of text or a string from a file then we have to use this f gets function here f stands for file yes stands for it is a string related function okay uh, now let's see the syntax of the f gets function uh, we know the syntax of gets function the syntax of the gets function is gets of variable name whereas the syntax of f gets function is f gets of variable name let name of the variable is str here str is nothing but a string and the next one is size so what is the size of the string and the next one is file pointer okay so f gets function accepts three arguments the first argument is string the second argument is size of the string whereas the third argument is file pointer now let's see about f puts function <coughs> we know the advantage of puts function puts function is mainly useful in order to display a line of text or a string on the monitor whereas f puts function is useful in order to write is a line of text or a string into the file so if you want to display uh, a line of text or string on a file then we can use as f puts function so f puts function is mainly useful in order to write a line of text or string into the file now let's see the syntax of the f puts function the syntax of the f puts function is f put c of variable name let name of the variable is str here str means a string uh, then after that we have to specify the file pointer here there is no need to specify any size here okay because we specified str already str contains some content so that content will get printed here Whereas, uh, for what purpose we are using f gets function in order to read a line of text from the file. Let us assume that file contains thousand characters. So, out of thousand characters, let us assume that we want to read only ten characters. So, those ten characters will be specified with the help of the size. So, size is ten, and the corresponding ten characters will be stored in a variable called str. So, here str is nothing but a string, a character array. And now let's see an example program to demonstrate f gets function and f puts function. Uh, in this example, the input is uh, enter a line of text. So we are reading a line of text from the keyboard. That means with the help of gets function, we are reading a line of text. Let us assume that uh, line of text is like this. Welcome to C programming. Welcome to C programming. Whereas the output is welcome to c programming has to be written into a file with the help of f puts function okay so we are reading the string with the help of gets function and now with the help of f puts function we have to write this content into the file let us assume that name of the file is output.c so now output.c file should contain welcome to c programming message welcome to c programming so output.c file contain this message so for that we have to write the program so let us write the program while writing the program we will see the logic the first statement is hash include stdio.h 
Why? Because we have to use as printf and scanf functions. So printf and scanf are available in STDA book. Next, we know that execution of your C program starts from the main function. Next, we have to declare a file pointer. So file space. How many files are needed? Here we require only one file. Okay. So one file pointer is enough. So file space has to be P. Next, what are the variables needed? Here we need to have a string. A string is nothing but a character array. So we know how to declare a character array. Char str of. Let us assume that maximum size of this string is some 50 characters. Okay. Next, to open the file. Fp is equal to f open of. What is the name of the file? Output.c. So output.c is name of our file. Comma. What is the second mode here? The second argument is mode. In which mode we have to open the file? Here we have to write this welcome to C programming message into this uh, oh, this file output.c. So we have to open the file in write mode because we need to write this content in the, into this file. So mode here is W in uppercase letters. Okay. So next uh, display this message. Print of enter a line of text. Print of enter a line of text. Next let us read the message with the help of gets function. We know the syntax of the gets function. So gets of str. So now str contains welcome to C programming. Now we have to write this content into this file output.c with the help of f puts function. So what is the sin here? What is the function? It's not it's not c, it's yes, f puts. So f puts of what is the syntax here? Name of the variable. Here, what is the name of the variable? str comma fp. So whenever the statement is executed. What is str now? Welcome to C programming. Welcome to C programming will be written into the corresponding uh, file which is specified by fp. What does fp specifies? Output.c in write mode. So welcome to C programming will be written into output.c. Now output.c contains welcome to C programming. So if you open the file output.c then it will contain welcome to C programming message. So now operations on the file are over. So now let us close the file. F close of fp function. Okay. F close function uh, will, will close just the corresponding file. Next to close the main function. So this is about uh, f gets function and uh, f puts function. In the next video we will discuss about uh, the last two, two unformatted file I/O functions. They are getw and putw.